Hello everybody, I am Sridhartha, currently in my final year of BE in Electronics and Communication Engineering from KLA Technological University, Ubli. I have recently got an offer from Infineon Technologies and I would like to share my interview experience with you all today. So to begin with the company, Infineon Technologies is a German semiconductor manufacturer founded in 1999 and Infineon is one of the largest semiconductor manufacturer across the world. Recently, Infineon Technologies acquired Cypress Semiconductors for $10 billion. So the company offers a CTC of 15.2 LPA along with the 6 months of internship during the final semester. And coming to the eligibility criteria and branches allowed, uh, since it's a core company uh, working on semiconductors and automotive and embedded systems, only uh, people from electronics and electrical along with some CS students were allowed. So the criteria was a student should be having minimum of 60% in his 10th and 12th along with the minimum CGP of 6.5 and with no current backlogs allowed. So from our university 251 students were shortlisted after for the online test from first round. So uh, now I would like to tell you about the recruitment process, the round one, uh, which is an online test. It consisted of uh, many sections. Uh, it had power electronics, digital electronics, analog electronics, embedded C and aptitude sections. Each sections were having sectional time cutoff. Uh, coming to the in details of online test, aptitude consisted of questions from probability, ratio and proportion and permutation combinations etc. Digital electronics had questions on uh, output prediction of some NAND, NOR and other complex gates and finite state machines and some questions were based on multiplexers and demultiplexers. Coming to the analog electronics, it had questions on uh, operational amplifiers, bit and byte addressables, MOSFETs and basics of KCL, KPL etc. And embedded C consisted of questions on uh, 8051, 8056 and ARM microcontrollers and some uh, usual questions on C such as uh, stacks, queues, linked lists and some memory management related questions were also there and the last section was the power electronics uh, which had only four questions uh, that were based on uh, impedance and uh, related uh, terms so the total duration of the test was 80 minutes uh, which had uh, 56 questions in total from the online test, uh, out of 250 students, 50 students were shortlisted for the second round. Uh, that is one-to-one -one technical discussion. So I would like to tell you about this now. Uh, the, there were many panelists uh, for the second round for the technical discussions. There were multi-level discussions uh, based upon uh, individual's performance and uh, the feedback from the panelists. So I had total of 5 rounds of discussion with 2 panelists uh, in each level. In the first level, the interview began with the self-introduction and uh, the basic uh, discussion on projects on my resume. In the second level, I was asked to code for the interrupts for a given task uh, using uh, like scheduling and uh, multi-task handling in a microcontroller. After that, uh, in the third level of discussion, I was asked a uh, embedded C code to swap to nibbles uh, in a byte uh, using some bit level operations and uh, I was also asked to code for uh, counting a number of binary ones uh, which is called usually set bits in an uh, given integer. Uh, so most of the questions were based on uh, low level C and embedded C programming. So since I had done my project on uh, embedded systems domain, uh, most of the questions were uh, integrated with that. So coming to the final round, uh, it was basically a techno managerial round. So there I was asked some questions on uh, IoT and uh, industry or home automation. So such as like uh, given a bulb, how would you convert it into a smart bulb using some microcontrollers and all. So the interview then ended with some HR questions such as uh, how are you looking for your growth in our company and all. So out of 50 students, 3 members were offered uh, for the Infineon uh, 
internship and full time opportunity and i am glad that i am one of them so, so coming to projects and internships uh, for which i have done so currently i have been uh, entitled for internship from infineon technologies itself so i haven't done any projects in the past sorry uh, i haven't done any internships in the past but i do have some projects in my resume so i would like to elaborate upon that so uh, the first project is uh, non invasive small energy monitoring so recently i concluded this project uh, in my 6th semester this was an end to end project which measures electricity consumption of a household appliances and sends the consumed data over the cloud so the user can visualize the consumption of its appliances in real time so the data is also formatted uh, as a time series and uh, which is used to analyze for time series uh, kind of machine learning algorithms so here we had used the uh, lstm neural networks to forecast the consumption for the next day so this project takes uh, measures based on the user uh, consumption the user can become aware of uh, anomalies in the consumption which would help to identify some faults in the appliances uh, so he can become aware of uh, servicing the appliances or maybe uh, upgrading the appliances so that he can reduce his power consumption and the second project was uh, in uh, it was an individual project uh, which i had done uh, in association with cisco and uh, this was an uh, virtual uh, project uh, which was launched in march 2021 across india it consisted of uh, two entry level courses uh, which included introduction to cyber security and uh, introduction to packet tracer which is a network simulation tool by cisco after completing these courses uh, i was supposed to design a secure network for our college level so the objectives included enhancing network capabilities ensuring that uh, there is a good flexibility with uh, servers along with the security so the packet tracer simulation tool is used to visualize entire setup along with uh, this cisco switches uh, were used as lan core and uh, those are equipped with 10 gbps of bandwidth and which are best suited for institution uh, coming to my extra curricular activities which i can consider as some kind of internship so i have been part of our uh, university's aero modeling club uh, which is called aero kld where we work as a multidisciplinary team and uh, we do participate in national level aero design challenges there i have been a uh, team leader and i have done uh, projects in rc aircrafts and uavs from my experience now i would like to suggest you some of the tips to crack infineon so i would suggest you guys to be strong in fundamentals of electronics be it digital electronics or analog electronics or microcontrollers also make sure that you have in depth knowledge of your uh, projects or internship uh, whatever you have done in your past mention the relevant keywords or the strengths or skill which you possess in the resume make sure that your resume is up to date and correct during the interview if you get stuck at some point don't get panic the panelists will give hints and sufficient time for you they just want to check your thinking and analyzing skills also make sure that uh, the words which you use while answering are appropriate because the next question from the panelist will be based on your previous answers uh, that's all from my end and i wish all the best for the viewers of this channel for their next job hunt i must appreciate the efforts of aim to crack team for bringing in such good content to help the students and uh, i would like to thanks aim to crack for uh, providing me the opportunity to share my experience with you all Uh, you can reach out to me via linkedin for any related queries thank you